I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for April 27, 2012, the one-year anniversary of our generational tornado outbreak. I encourage you to check the uh, blog and uh, for some thoughts about last year. Watch our special tonight, ABC 3340, from 6 until 7 o'clock. We'll stream that live for anybody around the world. And uh, we'll post all those videos up online when it's over after uh, 7 o'clock tonight. But we all will take some time today to think about that day. We can be thankful for a calm day today. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. We'll start with the uh, Skycam in Trustville. Who's shopping at 5 o'clock? Well, those people are. It's nice and calm. There's the Auburn Skycam down in Lee County. Looks like some low clouds have formed there. And way down in Gulf Shore has got a huge volleyball event uh, these are uh, women volleyball teams, uh, Division One college teams coming in from all over the nation. And the good news, the weather down there will be just great uh, for this weekend and most of next week as well with sunny days, fair nights, highs, mid to upper 70s, maybe touching 80. But the water's still pretty cool, so that's going to limit how warm they can get down there. All right, uh, we've got a weak northwest flow aloft, pretty good uh, shortwave coming out into the Plain States today. But again, uh, things are pretty quiet. Boy, look at the cold air over the Great Lakes. Uh, they're below freezing up there. Uh, but that cold air will not reach us. We stay warm for a while. Up on the watch warning map, freeze warnings in effect for parts of the Great Lakes up in the northeast. Winter storm watches and warnings for parts of Montana. But things are calm here. Later today, severe weather possible, but slight risk of severe weather over parts of Kansas and Missouri into extreme northeast Oklahoma around Tulsa. Low end, 5% probabilities here. Got a weak surface boundary just north of us, but that will be lifting north tonight. And while there could be a few uh, showers and storms over northeast Alabama later today, don't think anything will really be a big issue. Tomorrow, standard slight risk over much of Kentucky and parts of Indiana. And on day three, which is Sunday, no formal risks, just a couple of 5% areas, including one almost touching northeast Alabama. But basically, our pattern looks dry. That's the rain for the next five days. Valid through uh, Tuesday evening of next week. And again, the better chance of any showers should be near the Tennessee border. Most of central and south Alabama just warm and dry. Check the uh, modeling here. This is the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And you can see a, a pretty decent bit of uh, energy uh, to the north, obviously. You can see what's causing the winter storm in Montana. Nice negative tilt shortwave coming out across the Plain States. that could kick off some severe weather there. It's still troughing over the northeast, but around here, not much. Got a weak front along Interstate 40 in Tennessee. And later today, with the daytime heating process, there could be a shower or maybe a storm up near the uh, Tennessee border, but uh, that'll be lifting north tonight. And most of the state will be dry. And we're warm today with a high in the low 80s. Tomorrow, starting off the weekend, looks like a bright, sunny Saturday. And again, interesting to note the model discrepancy. The GFS is warm with 86. The NAM is almost 10 degrees cooler. They've got 77. We side with the GFS. We think it stays warm. Sunday, same deal, sunny and warm. Now, the GFS goes nuts. It's got 91 in here on Sunday. We will stick with upper 80s for now. Monday of next week, ridge still there. Upper 80s, a good deal of sunshine. Tuesday, the rain stays north. Again, we'll be in the 80s. Wednesday, I promise we're showing you different maps that just kind of look the same. Thursday of next week, we note that uh, surface low over the northeastern Gulf, but again, that should not affect us. If this is right, we stay in the mid-80s. And a week from today, the core of the westerlies are north of here and down below that. We stay mostly dry with that broad surface low over North Florida. So as you can see, things are really looking calm and mostly dry and warm for the next seven days. We'll go into the weekend following that because it's race weekend at Talladega. A lot of uh, NASCAR fans watch us for these long-range forecasts. This is Saturday, May 5th at 7 o'clock p.m. local time. Same deal, you know, kind of warm, muggy. There could be a shower, but... Nothing to really suggest any rain. And then on Sunday, look at this. This is Sunday, May the 6th. The big trough forms over the east. And if this is right, that'll be a great day for that big race. It'll be uh, cooler, lower humidity, highs in the maybe low 70s. That looks great with a big surface low just east of Long Island. So we'll see if that holds up. We'll check the end of the forecast on May 12th. Light northwest flow aloft, and again, things look quiet, and the good news, no evidence or sign of any major severe weather issues here 
for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Due to our special programming, there'll be no afternoon video. So my next video will be uh, Monday morning of next week by 7 o'clock. Brian Peters will have the updates both tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And again, catch us on the special if you can this evening. We'll stream it live 6 until 7, of course, on the ABC 3340 television. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.